We are here on the 25th to the 225th anniversary of the founding of our great city. And 225 years ago, when Moses Cleveland and the Connecticut Land Company happened upon the shores of the Cuyahoga River, this was a forested community and they didn't really know what their investment was gonna bring. And quite frankly, they, since Moses Cleveland left so quickly, maybe they thought it wasn't a great investment. When they divided up those first lots and they didn't sell for $50, which as our Department of Community Development, you know, that's what we sell land bank lots for, a little bit less than that. Um, it might not have been seen as a great investment, but what a great investment in, hum in, in people and humanity this city has been. This started our rich history. This started the Cleveland that we know today from the three original settlers through the 50 some, through the 900,000 to where we are today. And all along the way, Cleveland has led Cleveland has led in arts, in architecture, in, 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 in music, in culture. Cleveland has become a great city, and I think if Moses Cleveland had stayed and taken a look, or if he's looking down upon us to now, uh, now he'd be proud of the city that we have built in his honor. And when we have these occasions, we certainly look back to the past and look at our rich history, but we also need to take this opportunity on this 225th year anniversary and look to our future and look to what are the next 225 years gonna bring. I believe we've got a great future. I believe we can look back to the past 225 years and really recognize that. So it's a great honor to be here to present these, these resolutions. And I wanna start with the Early Settlers Association History is extremely important, and history can be forgotten, except for those people that do the hard work to make sure that we are preserving history, make sure that we are celebrating our history, make sure that we have history to look back on and that our kids can look back on and our grandkids. This is not easy work. This is not something that just happens. It happens through the commitment of committed people that care about their community. So uh, from Cleveland City Council, I want to start by presenting Bill Barrow with our resolution of recognition, whereas the members of Cleveland City Council, as well as the citizens of Cleveland, are sincerely pleased to recognize the Early Settlers Association of the Western Reserve for the preservation of traditions and heritage of the Western Reserve, resulting in their annual celebration on July 22nd. It goes on, but you get the point. Cleveland City Council, your city, your citizens really appreciate the great work you do, Bill. So if I can present this to you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. And we have a second, re we have a second resolution to present. And again, this is hard work. This does not just happen, and just a few people can't do it on their own. And every year, they have a, a, an award, the Clay Henrick Memorial Award. And this year, this award is being given to Kathleen Crowther. Uh, I'm going to read the first paragraph. Whereas the members of Cleveland City Council, along with its citizens, are proud and pleased to recognize Kathleen Crowther, Executive Director, President of the Cleveland Restoration Society, as she is honored with the prestigious 2021 Clay Henrick Memorial Award by the Early Settlers Association of the Western Reserve at the ceremony being held as part of Cleveland's 225th year birthday celebration on Public Square. But I will go on to say that Kathleen, as her title says, she is the, she is the president, I always get these wrong, president, director and president of the Cleveland Restoration Society. Again, we have to preserve our history. We have to preserve our architecture. We have to make sure that we keep the great parts of Cleveland great. And again, it doesn't happen by accident. It happens by hard work. It happens by organizing. I know how tirelessly um, Kathleen works for the Cleveland Restoration Society. Um, just when I was getting re ready for today, she had to pull me aside about some funding issues we're having with the city, but uh, it's, all, it's all for a good cause. We, as the city of Cleveland, owe a debt of gratitude to Kathleen Crowther and the Cleveland Restoration Society for their role in preserving our history. So Kathleen, if you'd step up. Thank you so much. Okay, take a take a photo, smile or something. Oh, no. Okay. Thank you. Okay, thank, thank you. you. All you. Thank you all very much and thank you for everybody who loves the city and works to preserve our history. Thank you, Bill. Thank you. I believe we also have a proclamation proclamation from the mayor. Uh,
from the mayor's office. We have a second proclamation, and this is from the mayor of the city of Cleveland, Frank G. Jackson, in recognition of the Early Settlers Association celebration of Cleveland's 225th year birthday. On behalf of the citizens of Cleveland, I am honored to offer this proclamation in recognition of the Early Settlers Association of Cleveland's 225th year birthday. Again, from the mayor, from council, from your city, thank you for everything you do. Thank All right, you very thank much. You. Okay.